Hey everybody, this is Pete Wenzel and today I'm going to show you how to make a nice looking camera movement without messing around with hundreds of keyframes just using parent objects and constraints. How to set up the scene will not be part of this video. If you're interested in this topic, watch everything but this video of this series. I would like to have a camera flying around a minifig in a circle and pushing backwards a little bit. First, we need a minifig to fly around. I'm using my avatar created for my hand screen and yes, the hand screen was done in Blender. Ta-da! Append it from another library and move it in position. Don't forget to align it with the studs. Set up a good looking camera movement with the correct object in focus could be terrifying by using position and rotation keyframes of the camera. To solve this issue, I would like to introduce two little helper. First helper will define our center of the frame and will be the focus point too. Add empty, plane axis and call it camera point of view. To keep the overview, we add a new collection. Name it camera and move camera and the empty to it. Select your camera, then go to the object constraints tab and add a damn track constraint. As target, we select the camera point a few empty. First, our camera will be flipped, but after we set the direction to negative set, it will behave as expected. In camera tab, we select the camera point of view as focus object. In certain cases, it might be handy to use one empty as center of camera view and another as focus object. That means you need to create one more empty, but in this demonstration, one empty will work very well. Select the minifig and with Shift S cursor to select it, we move the 3D cursor to the minifig. With the camera point of view empty selected, shift S selection to cursor, the empty moves to the fig. As a result, the fig will be perfectly framed. If you like this video, share it with your friends, give me a thumb up and feel free to ask further questions in the comments below. If you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Our second helper will be a circle. Shift A, mesh circle and we name it to camera control. By the way, for scene framing it's always good to have multiple windows with different views active. Increase the size of the control circle and the set position until camera origin and circle are lined up. This doesn't need to be perfect. With the camera selected, press shift and select the circle. Then Ctrl P, set parent to object and keep transformation. This will copy all translation and rotation from the circle to the camera. To ensure we are not going to move the camera alone by accident, we disable the selection of the camera. If you don't see this, click on the filter and enable all restriction toggles. Now we move the camera point of view empty and the camera control circle to have a beautiful still image. Adding a keyframe and jump to the end of the scene. Scale the circle up and rotate it a little bit around z-axis. Don't forget to create another keyframe. If you like, move the circle a little bit in that direction to ensure the perspective angle stays nearly the same. If the camera has a rotation around the view axis, you could adjust this easily in camera view using R. But don't forget to create keyframes at the start and at the end of the scene. By default, the interpolation between keyframes is Bezier, which is pretty smooth but to achieve a stop-motion-like look, I would prefer to have a linear interpolation. This could be done in the graph editor. Select all keyframes and go to Key, Interpolation Mode, Linear. 
With the two little helpers I have just introduced, it is pretty easy to create good looking camera movements with just a few keyframes, but a maximum of control. And that would be the end of this tutorial. In the next video I will show you how to add a logo to the top of the studs of your bricks. So hit the subscribe button if you want to stay tuned. Now you have reached the end of this video. But this doesn't mean you have to talk to real people. You may be interested in my new video over there. Or you could watch this recommended video. And as a last opportunity, there are many more videos for you at my channel.